We're back. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. Today, I wanted to talk about rules, specifically being the exception to the rule. Because quite honestly, what I'm seeing, and maybe this is just uh, the world that, that I am seeing in my, on my Facebook feed, but it seems like, you know, being in your entrepreneurial business, that there are a lot of um, things that everyone thinks needs to be rules. And I don't know about you, but after spending 25 years in a corporate environment where, you know, there was like that this thick policy guide and trying to uh, do what the boss says and all of that. And quite honestly, I'm a bit of a rebel. I mean, I had a very successful career, but I have always had this rebellious side. I got in trouble when I was in grade school. I, um, I, I got my violin teacher in, in trouble at the school. I was like a bit of a troublemaker, even though I was really uh, seen as, you know, the angel. <laughs> I've kind of just always had that rebellious side. I think it's just because I'm the youngest child. So maybe you're a youngest child or maybe you're the oldest and you like being in feeling like you're in control of your life. And now, you know, we have, everybody wants that freedom that you have in your business. And for some reason, you know, everybody seems to be striving for their freedom, but still under these real odd rules. Like, you know, I, I have to do my social media at certain times of day. I have to, I have to be on Facebook. I, I need to join groups and all those things. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that this is because I am not from um, that generation of growing up on the internet, but uh, that's, you know, that's not what I know about business and that's not what I know about creating a successful business. Yes, success is created that way and uh, if you follow that path, you may, may find your success, but quite honestly, that's not success to me because success is not following somebody else's rules. It's not following other people. It's not um, trying to prove my value in any way. It's just trying to, it's just being me and fully expressing myself in all of my talent and strengths. And so that's what I want to help you understand. And I'm going to do maybe like a little series because I don't want to, I don't think we can get all this out. Uh, today. So I'm just going to give you one piece of the pie. But today's uh, video is going to be about um, try, uh, understanding how to break free from the limits. From the limits on the outside and the limits in your own head. Because, you know, and this is just, it, it's just beyond me. But Many of my clients come to me and they already know about, you know, sales pages and understanding social media and they, they may have worked with and spent lots of money on other coaches taking all those programs and they're experts at what they do. But for some reason, it's like nobody can hear them. They can't seem to, um, to get clients. In fact, everybody seems to be, my video from the other day about not making a regular monthly income, that's not okay. I mean, I, I want you to understand, I'm not just saying like, oh, that's not okay, let's go for a million dollars. No, that's not okay because if you choose to have a business that supports your life, it should support your life. And quite honestly, if you're not able to make your monthly income, so if you don't have like a regular monthly uh income set, then you're going to, you're going to have problems because you know what, what ends up happening. This is just the strangest thing to me that people end up, uh, just accepting the amount of clients that you get every month. Meaning that if you get zero clients, you accept it as, well, I guess that's just part of business. That's not part of business. That's not part of having a business and not part of being a CEO nor is becoming desperate 
and then trying to fill every gap in the market so you can try to make money, so you can try to pay your rent. So, you know, this is really about understanding, forget the internet. I just want you to understand that there are foundational business things that, no, we're not gonna talk about those today, but there are foundational business things you need to understand. You need to have a budget. You need to have a system. And I'm not talking about an online system. Yeah, you know what? It is, it is online and it involves online. But I mean a system of, of you, the CEO of the company, taking certain actions this is so this is like a sales funnel taking certain it's not a sales funnel what it really is is your way to make an income it's you taking certain actions that will result in making the amount of money you want to make every single month and then just like how like a road has detours you already in your mind have detours that that aren't like maybe concrete but you really know okay if i do this if i'm not making clients this way then i'm gonna have to take this detour this month that's still on my path it's still like under this me the leader but it's it's gonna bring me back so i can make my monthly income and then go on to the next month you don't just sit there and go i didn't get clients this month <laughs> let me go hang out in a facebook group <laughs> that's not the answer all right so we're gonna talk about being the exception to the rule. So that means that we have to bust through your blocks. And you know, I don't care if you're the most awakened and conscious person in the world. Everybody has blocks. We have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day, 95% of them are unconscious. So you may be the most conscious person ever, but you're still only being conscious 5% of the time. It's just the way life is. And 80% and of those thoughts are negative. So, you know, that's a lot of challenge that we each have. <laughs> if, if there were like gospel singers behind me, Jessica, I think people would be, I think they would be singing right now. So, in fact, maybe I should just get some gospel music. <laughs> so, what that means is that we need to train success habits. You've heard of the habit of success. It's training unconscious success habits into your day. That's that system I was talking about that's going to lead you to your clients. Those are things that you have to do every day, whether or not you're getting the client that day. Those things, you know, if you do, it, they will result in your end goal of a monthly income every single month. This means about knowing the amount of money you need to make. Not the million dollars that you want to make. Your magic number that you need to make every month so that you can have this clear vision if you're having a difficult month. Okay, that's okay. I'm not going to look desperate, feel panicked because that is seen online and that will, that will subconsciously cause you to do things and act and speak in such a way that people won't people won't trust you and they will not spend money on you that's just the way uh i'm, I'm sorry i'm not so woo woo but i'm gonna say this it's this way our energy works and and the way life works so you know what we fear the most is what we're thinking of and it will cause us to unconsciously, those 95% of unconscious habits, to create it in our lives. Because, and I think this is God, the universe, whatever you believe, teaching us that the thing that we fear the most, that we're stronger than we know. And so in order, if we really fear it, we fear losing everything. We fear, um, uh, I don't know, something. And what will end up happening is God or the universe will make it happen so that it proves to you that you can overcome it. Because in the end, if you think of every failure and every past thing that, that has happened to you, I guarantee you, you have come out stronger. And that's the way that life works. So when you're fearing something, it becomes a block in your mind. And 
then making money, getting clients and all of that. So I need to get clients. I need to get clients. You know what's going to happen? God, the universe, life, your energy is going to cause you to get no clients. Because that get clients mindset is not why you were put on this earth. Oh my God, it's my sister, Rena. That's why you were put on this earth. So this whole get clients mindset, oh my God, I need to like follow this person. If that's not, I, I'm just gonna say if you're on this video, that's not who you are. God, the universe, <laughs> the highest power will cause you to not get clients, to not make money, and, and live in that fear zone to prove to you that there is another way. You just can't see it yet. So today, and uh, you know, I'm going to do this in parts. So we're going to, we're going to continue this, uh, every day so that I can get you to the point of, of actually, you know, transitioning it to the outside. But first we need to uncover and remove those blocks. It's like kind of like setting yourself free, but in a practical way for your business so you can make money and attract clients. So, so now we need, we know we have, we have these limits on us. So first thing we have to do is I want to ask you, number one, what are the rules that you think you have to follow for your business? So you may want to write this down and do this after, but I want you to write down every rule that you've ever heard about business that you actually are following. And, and you may think that that's how, why you have to, I need to be on Facebook. Um, I need to uh, post on Instagram. I need to, uh, to do live video. I need to, whatever you have been told, think, believe, um, do are doing now, I want you to write down, make a list. So I guarantee you, you're gonna have like a list of like 20 things. Just at the top of your head, even if you know that you have to do it, just write it down. Then I want you to take a red pen and look at that list and say, does this thing that I wrote down make me feel happy or stressed? Like, does it, does it energize me or does it make me feel drained every time I think about it? So, you know, like getting on Facebook or hanging out in groups or um, every time I, I open Instagram, I get my heart beats faster and I don't feel good. <laughs> Whatever it is, like uh, sending, sending emails on every Tuesday, even though I have nothing to say. Whatever you think is a rule, I want you to, to take the red pen and, and cross it out. So remember, we're busting through blocks. So you may be like shaking <laughs> when you're <laughs> writing with the red pen. But I really, I want you to tell you, to write down the feeling that you get when you look at that or think about it or do it and then cross it out. Then I want you to look at that list and, and see what's left, okay? Then, then I want you to, to, to put that down, put that piece of paper down. Now I want you to take out another piece of paper and I want you to go into like your place. I, actually, I want you to go outside. I want you to go outside and do active focus meditation for 10 minutes. I want you to walk outside, take your dog, you know, be nice. Uh, um, go by yourself. Uh, go and put your favorite theme song on, something that makes you cry. And I want you to go walking and just don't think about anything. I just want you to walk. And, and actually, I want you to think about who you are. Like who you were before you started this business. What has made you thrive? You know, I was, I was a retail and shopping center marketing director for 25 years. I went to school for business and fashion merchandising. <laughs> I love fashion so much. I've been looking, I, I could stare at a, a fashion magazine forever. So that makes me thrive. It makes me happy. And when I'm not doing something that involves pretty things, great images, Look at my eyelashes, they're really pretty. Anyway, like things like that and getting to the root of things and writing and, and digging deep. Like I love that sort of, it makes me thrive. You know what makes me not? Hanging out on Facebook, like trying to scroll through there and looking at those, those big blocks of like color of people like asking stupid questions. That makes me want to throw up. And so 
you know, I, I, I'm making decisions in my business about, you know, where I choose to have my business. And I will continue these videos. I, I kind of enjoy them. And I really like the people that tune in to them. So, so I'll, I want you to have that. I want you to do the active focus meditation. Then I want you to come back to immediately. You're going to have to tell your husband, your kids. You guys have to be quiet. <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing. And write down what you really want. If you could have, if you could make money and get paid for being you, I don't care how crazy your idea is. I want to be, become a fashion designer. I don't have an ounce of, of, um, of design ability in me. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to teach health and business at the same time. I want to do, you know, and just write down whatever it is that you envision. I want to get up at eight o'clock every morning, go and play with my kids and go outside and do my active focus meditation, come back with some clients and then sit outside and, and enjoy my life. And you know, whatever it is, I want you to plan out your perfect day. And, and that day includes number one, you have to help somebody. Number two, they have to find value in it enough to pay you. And number three, you have to be happy. That's a requirement. So then I want you to go crazy on that sheet, okay? You can do these on different days because it may be kind of confusing to do what you hate <laughs> but you were. Then, then I want you to under that write down what you love. What you love about what you wrote. Like what do you love doing? Like I, I just told you, like I love looking at fashion. I love creating. I, I love designing things. I love editing my photos so that my skin looks flawless. <laughs> if you want the apps, <laughs> they're amazing. But they make me look so like I have glowing skin that it makes me feel like I have glowing skin and I have no wrinkles. I love that. I know it sounds stupid. Nobody pays me for that. Nobody even cares, but I care. So I spend time doing it because you know what? That's part of my positioning because in my head, it makes me feel better at being who I am. So what do you love? Now, what are you really good at? What are you really good at that somebody's gonna pay you money? So, and you can just write these down separate. Uh, Kim, I'm a really good seamstress. People pay me money for that. Uh, I'm a really good graphic designer. People might pay me money for that. You know what, I am a really good mind reader. People might pay me money for that. I just want you to write down what you're really good at. What did you get paid for at your job? If it seems unrelated, I was an accountant. I wasn't an accountant and that's not my strong suit, but I used to create Excel sheets. Um, I used to shovel poop. Whatever it is that you've done in your past life, I want you to take that and think, how does that make me an expert at what I do? Okay, and then what are your strengths? Like last night I was at Whole Foods and uh, there's, there's a guy there and I'm trying to help him start his graphic design business. I told you I do that on <laughs> my spare time. And he shaved uh, and I saw him for the first time since he shaved and I was like, oh my God, you look like Obama. <laughs> so friggin' weird. And he's like, oh my God, like everybody tells me that. And I was like, oh, huh, how can you use that? How can you use that as part of your positioning as you start your, your design business? He was like, what do you mean? I was like, you know, have you ever watched Obama? Like watch how he speaks and how he walks and moves and how he holds his body. How can you be like that? Like in your videos, when you go on interviews, when you, when you get in front of a client, how can you be Obama-like? So I know that sounds really weird, but that's a strength of his. See, you have strengths you don't even realize. It, you, uh, okay, so this is, this is a strength and this is really weird, but I, I totally, uh, you just have to know people that are better looking uh, make more money. So if you're really good looking, you need to highlight that. Like, just show your pretty face everywhere. I, I, that just sounds weird. And I don't mean to be vapid, but it's a strength. And the more you can play it up, 
the more it's part of your positioning. You're really creative, you know what? Blow out with your design. I don't care what your website, what you think it has to look like. It should be amazing. You know what your Instagram feed? I don't care what anyone said, your social media has to be. What would you, what, what kind of things do you like to see? Personally, I don't like to see a lot of like tacky things or like, you know, someone talking about their ideal client. I don't want to see that on my Instagram. So my Instagram is really different. And you know what? Because that's the type of, of photos that I look at. And since I've been doing that, I've been gaining new people who actually get me. That's very important. And that could be why you're not getting clients. Because you're trying so hard instead of being. Be your marketing. Be, be your own inspiration. Stop like trying to follow the rules. There are no rules. We just got rid of that list that steals your energy and joy. When you are happy, do you know what people buy? This is, this is why when we, I work with my clients, they, like, they, they get clients before they even launch because they're free. They own their story, their background. The blocks that they had are removed. And their business reflects all of their strengths and their talents. That's what you need to understand is that you need to be you. Like fully you. See, Harlow agrees. <laughs> she always has to bark. Okay. Uh, then I want you to ask, you know, who are you? Who are you and why are you here? We're all here for a reason. Call it your purpose, your mission, the difference you want to make in the world. You know, why are you here? Why were you born? I believe your purpose is what your life has led you to do right now. And so, you know, um, my life has led me to, to use my genius to enrich the lives of others. I, psh, I, Carlo! I could do that by I could do that by helping you start a business. I could do that by having a job. I could do that just by walking into Whole Foods and talking to the people that work there. I use my genius to enrich the lives of others. Why are you here? Why were you born? What is it that you want your life to be about? That should be at the top of your your goal list. And then your business should be based on that and everything else that we've just uncovered. So, okay, so, so I'm going to get to the next part tomorrow because, quite honestly, it's about 100 degrees in my apartment. <laughs> and uh, Harlow's barking. So I'm going to give you an assignment, okay? I want you to, to write down those things and ask who are you and why are you here, okay? What, what, is, what is that general statement? that you have. I want it to be something that you can like see in your mind. Then I want you to give 20 reasons why you have to do it. 20. There's no like five. I can't think of any others. 20 reasons why you must go and build this business you love. And then 20 reasons uh, why somebody should pay you money for it. I just busted through your money blocks. Money blocks don't exist. And deep inside, if you're still on this video, I guarantee you, you are an expert at what you do. You've made money in your past, whether or not it's in your business. But I guarantee you, in your mind, in your confident self, you know somebody should pay you money. Pay me money. That's what I want you to be saying when you're writing that. I want you to get angry <laughs> that, oh my God, I've been following these rules that don't exist. I'm so fucking good at what I do. This is why. This is why. Because I have 25 years of business and marketing experience. Because I have a career in fashion, prestige marketing, that I won awards for innovation. I have a heart of gold. I help people. I've helped people uncover their health. 
whatever it is, I want you to get mad. To get mad that you have been following rules that don't exist. See, that's the rebellious side of me. <laughs> See, I, I got in trouble. I got in trouble many times uh, in my work, but in the end, I got promoted, I got raises, and I got job offers from other people while I still had my job because I was good. And so what I'm trying to tell you is that when you're good at what you do and when you own it, clients will be seeking you out. And the reason why they can't hear you or see you or sometimes you have trouble finding them is because you're trying to fit yourself into a box that you don't belong in. So are you with me? Are we going to do this? And then tomorrow we're going to really get clear on your messaging and all of that. So if you're really with me, you know, show me that you're with me. Share this with a friend. Uh, Re-listen to it. Do the work. Do your active focus meditation and go and be the genius that you are, okay? I'm going to go to the park and wipe off the sweat that's <laughs> dripping down my chest. All right, so I will see you guys later. Have a great night and I love the hearts. Thank you.